everybody. I'm here to bring you some information on how to set up your direct drive wheel in Assetto Corsa and have the most fun possible with some good parameters that brings all the details you need, not too much strength and a smooth experience, um, especially to feel exactly what the car is doing and what is happening with the tires, brakes and the weight transfer. Um, and I'm going to show you how I did the setup and why exactly I changed some parameters and what those parameters changed in the game. And I never had such a good experience with this game ever. According to my Steam, I played this game already for more than 2,200 2, hours. And believe me, uh, I started playing this game with a G27 and then I bought a T500 from Trustmaster to try to drift my car. And I would like to start drifting. I never was able to do it because I never uh, had a good feeling of what the car is doing as I'm going to show you right now that I finally achieved that goal and I'm going to show you right now alright so first I'm going to show you how I did set up my Simio Cube wheel this wheel is a 20 nanometer motor and I have the Simio Cube software running I think the version is the, the 0.11.2 and the Yoni Drive firmware is the 10.7.0.7 version. I'm pretty sure there's a newer version but I don't know exactly what changed it so I keep that way. And over here I created a, a profile called AC and set the degrees of rotation to 1180 degrees and 66% of overall strength I changed the reconstruction filter to 1 torque bandwidth to unlimited center frequency disabled damping to 0.10% and friction to 0.30% in the direct input effects, I changed my damping effects to 100%, so the hardware can use 100% of this effect that is generated by the game. These other two parameters here controls the way that the wheel returns to the center, especially the damping and this is uh, a parameter that increases the, the weight of the wheel in general so if you change the force here and put too much damping here you're gonna have a more heavy feeling wheel all the time with 0.10% only I reduced a little bit the, the kick let's say let's call this way the kick of the wheel when the car changes direction it makes the the transition of this movement a little bit more smooth and the friction the friction parameter uh, according to to the description of their website the granite devices they say the friction uh, kind of reproduces the way all the mechanical parts of the wheel in a real car uh, when those parts moves it creates a kind of a drag or something like that and this effect reproduces that effect so these two parameters uh, to me they were crucial to have a very good experience in a set of Corsa Let's talk about now the game.
here in the game, I set up my, I set of course, uh, controls to 40% of gain. I changed this to 40 because if you raise this to 70, 80 percent, I would say above 50 percent, you start to clip the signal in the softer level. So if you enter a curve, and this curve has uh, will generate too much G-force, you're gonna clip the signal. So 40% delivers a good amount of force. Uh, will will bring a lots of detail to the wheel, but will not clip at all. I didn't use the filter or the minimum force because the directed drive wheels do not need them. Also, I do not like the way uh, the curve effect. Uh, I don't need, I don't think I need cur curb effects or road effects because the road effects they will influence uh, the force feedback in general and with those parameters I'm going, I'm showing you here you will have a lot of detail already. The slip effects it makes the car uh, delivers to the car a small amount of detail when you are entering oversteer or understeer conditions and I, I don't go over 4% because it starts to get too much in my opinion this is only my personal opinion and as you know force feedback is a very uh, specific taste of each person and can change drastically but in my in my case those parameters here are the best so far and I played like 2000 hours already in the post processing I enabled the FFB post processing and I enabled the gamma and changed the gamma to 85 percent the default is a hundred percent and with 87 percent you're gonna have um, a tighter center of your wheel and this is gonna bring some detail of this road surface and will help you to feel understeer and oversteer conditions in your car the gyroscopic effect is a very important effect when you use the direct drive wheels to eliminate any kind of oscillation, uh, especially in open wheeler cars. So I enable this first, then I enable the gyroscopic effect and I set damper gain to 15% and the minimum damper level to 0%. This damper gain uh, tells me I am using 15% of the direct input effects which I set to 100%. So I am using only 15% of damper gain in this tab and I, I'm despite uh, the developers says this only works until 3 km per hour. This is not what I feel. I feel this effect... Uh, <clears throat> it has an effect all the time. And it makes a more smooth wheel. Delivering all the details and the necessary strength you need to the wheel tries to center itself quick, fast and in a natural way. Well, this is all uh, regarding to force feedback I would like to show you. And over here I set the degrees of rotation to 1180 degrees 
as I set this also in my Simucube software. Over here in the, in the hardware setup, the person that sold me this will uh, set me to use these three parameters like 100% 10 degrees and 100%. Uh, I never had to change this uh, because I didn't feel the need to. Well, that's it. I would like to receive some feedback from you guys to know if these parameters helped you somehow and and I would like to hear from you. Well, let's now check some gameplay and see how I did perform using those parameters I just show you. Okay, so I was never able to drift even when I had the T500 which has a, a good speed of rotation and uh, I, I don't have a handbrake and I'm using only the weight transfer in the car to start the drift and this car doesn't have uh, is not enabled the traction control obviously and I'm going to show you that even being a complete noob drifting I can control the car pretty well and I never was able to do that before and this is not intended only to perform drifts and honestly if you can drift you have a better overall control of your car in any conditions and any circumstances so I think this will help you to have a much better control and especially to have more pleasure driving because this is the where the the most fun in this game happens is the great physics it has and with those parameters I can tell you man it changed it completely the way I feel the, the car and however the way I enjoy this game is so much better I can feel exactly what the car is doing I can feel the weight transfer of the, the chassis I can feel exactly which which tire is locking I can feel uh, everything the road surface is much more detailed uh, I can predict the oversteer and understeer happening and it's very very natural the way the wheel behaves it's more natural than any other parameter I ever tried and I tried many 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 settings man many settings I forgot how, how much time I, I spent trying to set up this game properly with this wheel especially because th this wheel can generate massive amounts of torque and massive amounts of torque do not necessarily is what you want is what you need you need a you need a a wheel that has some strength and weight to feel everything but it needs to be dynamic detailed and you need to to know exactly what's going on with this car with, with your car and I tried many other cars and I can control them all much better And there's another thing, uh, when you start playing, you you forget the world, <laughs> yeah definitely, you forget and it's lots of fun, particularly in this car I, I am using 69% of the force feedback 
and this is very important because sometimes a hundred percent of force feedback in the car is too much and the wheel is going to be uh, too heavy and you're gonna have lots of kicks in the wheel and those kicks are very very hard to hold oops I did a very bad mistake here but in general uh, I think this mistake is not because I can't feel what the car is doing but it's because I do not have enough practice uh, doing drift and to be honest uh, I don't have experience at all I'm doing this only because I can feel everything the car is doing so that's it you set up the game like I told you and you control the force feedback on the car to have a very comfortable wheel but heavy dynamic and detailed and tell me what you think about this I would like to share this with you all and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time thanks for watching if you have any comments any doubts please use the comment section below make contact and I'll do my best to answer all of you thanks a lot guys see you later bye bye